All right, uh, here we go with part two of the song Four by Miles Davis. Uh, this one, uh, if you would like to just skip all of the uh, all the blah blah, you can jump to the timestamp that is currently on my face. Uh, of course, you should download the the sheet music down there, uh, as I've harmonized the melody, and I also wrote a soli. Uh, I also put each part in the left and the right ear separately. So the lead part is in the right ear, and the secondary part is in the left ear. Uh, so you can put uh, headphones on and take one off and put it someplace else uh, and only have the part that you're not playing um, playing for you. That way you, you can play without doubling someone and that's that's fine. Um, that being said, uh, the rest is pretty straightforward. Instructions will be on the screen. We'll trade uh, choruses, then eights, then fours. Uh, and now uh, T to be honest, I, I don't think my playing was particularly great on this one. Not that it is ever great, um, but uh, I, I wanted to be I, I wanted to be candid about it. Uh, when you're at a jam session, you don't you don't get second takes. You either play your best or, or you don't, and you just sort of have to have to deal with it and go on. Uh, that's that. That's that's life in a nutshell. Uh, I had fun. And that's the point, really. Uh, it's, it's jazz music. It's, it's expression. It's art. And sometimes it's a little bit sloppy. Uh, there we go. Well, let's get to playing.
thus concludes uh, another interactive uh, trading solo video. Uh, if you if you liked it, there will be another one coming out soon. Just like you know, every week for the rest of my life. Uh, the next one will probably be something simpler, uh, like uh, so what. I, I think that's what we'll do. All right. Have a nice day.